In today's Family Focus, we're actually going to focus on the ladies. Oh. In our lives because it is National <laughs> Women's Equality Day and we want to talk about an important subject which is STEM education when it comes to girls. Yeah. Joining us today, Dr. Beth and Jomi who are going to talk details about some programs out there that are making a difference. Welcome to Good Day Live, both of you today. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> well, Dr. Beth, in the light of everything that we're talking about when it comes to STEM, why do you think girls are less likely to be encouraged to, to focus on the, the STEM courses? Well, what we know is that girls just aren't exposed to it. For example, myself, growing up, I had no idea how much I would love neuroscience and that I'd be very good at it. The biggest thing we can do for our young girls is make sure that they are exposed to STEM. And STEM is everywhere. It's in our everyday lives. It's with everyday folks that we meet. Wonderful opportunities to bring girls into more STEM fields. Jomi, yeah, what made you exposed? Jamie, what made you want to go into STEM? What was your calling? You think? What made me really want to go into STEM was when I was younger. I used to go to science camps during the summer, and seeing all the really cool things and experiments and being able to know that science was behind that really got me interested in science. And as I got older and doing this internship this summer, one thing I learned is that engineering is more than logic. It's about finding your passion to help others. And this summer I got the opportunity to do that. Um, I worked on life-changing technologies such as our heart stents, and I'm only 16, and I got to make to be part of this amazing opportunity and do things that help people across the world. Well, so you, you're doing this internship. How do other girls out there watching right now get involved with something like that, Doctor? What can they do? Well, a couple of points here. The first one is, is we, we have a blueprint for what we did for our success. We've been doing this STEM internship for high school girls for the past seven years, and we are sharing that with anyone that's out there that would like to follow in what we've learned. It's at www.stem.abbott. Highly, highly encourage anyone to go there and download that so that you too can have a brilliant Jomi like we have. Another good thing is to realize that science is everywhere. Science is fun. Science is exciting. For example, with my own daughter, we look at gardening. What's the science behind gardening? What is the science behind needing to brush your teeth? Or for example, when our air conditioning went out, we had a nice young man come over to the house and I asked him, do you mind explaining what you're doing to my daughter? So he did and he explained the science of capacitors and induction and it was a lot of fun so asking your everyday folks that you come across to teach your daughter something to learn something or even look it up online is a great way to bring more science into your day well before we wrap up what I think is fun is your lab coat Jomi can you explain a little bit about it <laughs> So the lab coat has been the same for hundreds of years. So this summer, I got the opportunity with a group of interns to reinvent the lab coat. So our group made a lab coat for female pediatricians. So things we added was first we did a elasticized sleeve that's also waterproof so doctors won't get their hands wet when they're washing them. And then we added a pocket that you can put your phone in and charge it at the same time. Since this is for female pediatricians, we added a sticker pocket and a lollipop pocket that they can give stickers and candy to the children when they see them. And also to add a little touch of color, we added whimsical patterns in different colors on the pocket so children will feel more comfortable when they see their doctor. It was really cool and an amazing uh, opportunity. I love and Jimmy, it. I could have used that when I was working clinically. <laughs> <laughs> fashion, <laughs> fashion, science, and engineering. Yes, I can tell you right now, there's nothing better. What a great idea! So, as we wrap up, can you tell our viewers in case they want more information on that blueprint, Doctor? Where should they go? What should they do? It's please go to www.stem.abbott.